on how to develop games slash apps for the iPhone. So, first, this is what you're going to do is because what you need to use to develop doesn't develop by itself, you need to download Microsoft Visual C++. I will have a link for that in the description. Once you have that downloaded, you can go on Google, type in AirPlay SDK, and then click on Home. Now what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to sign up for the account. You can do that by going over here and clicking on register right there. And once you've registered, then you can go to the download slash buy page. Now, what you're going to need to do is just scroll down here it says indie license it says get indie license here you have to, once you if you're signed in and you click this it's going to take you to the indie license page hold on I have to sign in alright so I'm on the indie license page and the cool thing about this is that if you are an iPhone developer planning on making less than a hundred thousand dollars a year then you can the entire full iPhone development version free every year Otherwise, it's just a 30 day evaluation version, or it costs $199 for other devices, like such as the Android or the all those phones. So you can just press down here where it says Get, and it'll get you through the steps of getting your iPhone license. Once you have your license, you want to come up back to here and you're going to want to download, click download now for Windows. It will download the 30 day evaluation version. Just install it normally. And when you are done installing it, it should bring up this page. Now you're going to want to set your default build environment to Visual Studio 2010, if that's the one or whatever year you installed. You probably don't have an RVCT ARM computer, but if you do, um, then select it and to retrieve the license so this to retrieve the license so that this is not just a 30-day evaluation what you do is cl click on request new license type in your username and password and there you see iPhone license you can select it and press OK and then once you're done you press OK and it'll save all your settings so now, I'm just going to show you an example made by the AirPlay SDK people on how to just start a basic uh, game. So, what you can do is open up libraries, go to local disk C, and you'll see AirPlay SDK. Zoom in here. Okay, open up Play SDK. <coughs> Sorry about that. And you go to 4.3, and then you go to examples, scroll down to games. And let's open up calls. Now you see this AirPlay project file right here. You're going to double click it. And it's going to open up Visual C++ with this project loaded. Alright, it's now open. You can see that it's just like all the other Visual Studios if you've downloaded any of them. You can open up the Solution Explorer over here. Um, you see the air, all these things that it needs to run. Um, like there's the game and then the main scripts that it had to do, and the scripts it had to do to make the course, all the scripts it needed to make the game. So you can see all that, it's pretty cool. You can load any of them if you want, click on game CPP. And it'll give you all the code that they use to, to like make the game function correctly. Pretty cool. And when you want to run this, what you do is you click up here in the top left corner on the blue arrow. It says start debugging. Make sure it says next eight x86 debug. And it will take a while to um, build and run. So just have a little patience and it's almost done
here we go and now opens up the airplay f86 simulator now you can use such as where you would tap you would press click the mouse it'll load everything and um if you want to like simulate tilting your device you can press the side arrows on your keyboard which is what i'm doing right now and you can pause it all that good stuff it's a pretty cool example now there's some cool things in this um um, simulator such as if you go to preferences display you can turn on the iPhone skin it's pretty cool now it looks like a real iPod and you can continue to play also there's a really really cool thing called the remote control now in the next tutorial I'll show you how to set this up but pretty much what it does is it sends this screen to your iPhone or iPod and you can play it from there and control it just to see how it would actually work on a device and that's pretty much the basics of installing and just running an example on the AirPlay SDK um, it's iPod Take 18 rate comment subscribe thanks guys